next is DC News number 126. It's going to be a DC Universe edition of DC News. And it really has no theme. We're all over the place. We're going to talk about American Vampire. We're going to talk about Superman Earth 1. There's going to be the sequel to that. We're going to talk about Four Watchmen. We're going to talk about Big Valentine's Day celebration that DC has planned for 2013. We're also going to talk about Demon Knight, Shining Knight, and the Green Arrow. All that and more coming right up. The 20th every month is Founders Day here at Alternate Reality, and on the 20th, you can save 20% off everything I've got in the store. All my comics, trade paperbacks, action figures, statues, posters, supplies, gaming stuff, everything is 20% off on the 20th, except for this week's shipping and my buy-in-bulk supplies. But everything else is 20% off, so stop on down to Alternate Reality on the 20th of every month and save yourself 20% off. News from the DC Universe. It's comic book man and Bo, and they're from another universe. We would face the fires of hell for a brimstone broiled Hades burger. <laughs> DC Comic Book News, episode 126. War on the Moron. Hey folks, hey! Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again <laughs> to my video outhouse. Joining me once again I'm is... I'm not talking screws! This guy, Bocephus, yeah. which Bruce means it's better. time for DC News. It's coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality. You're Look at the intersection of 111th and Kenzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. All the noise. Alternate Why Reality are all my new comics. Because you won't shut up. Alternate Reality are all my new comics. Sure. are always 15% off every day for everyone, including all my DC News. Yes. Bo! Yes? American Vampire. That's, oh. a, that's, that's one of the last runaway hits at, at Vertigo, which is about to get a bullet in the back of the head sometime this year. No, 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 no. Karen Berger has a lot of major plans for Vertigo. Quit saying that. They all involve Don't a funeral. Nice. They all involve a funeral. They do not involve a funeral. <laughs> anyway, American Vampire is one of the last big things that, that is going on over Vertigo right now. And something's going on with it. After issue 34, they're yes. taking at least a year off. Well, there's another nail in the coffin for Vertigo. Goodbye. <laughs> well, yeah. Next time, go find okay. Out. Scott Snyder, he's doing uh, Swamp Thing. Yes. He's doing uh, Batman. Yeah, he's doing everything he's with doing, Vertigo books. He's yeah. doing Superman, the new Superman book with Jim Lee. He's, he's painting his house. He's just, he's not a really tall guy. He's, you know, so you do what? He's busy, and so he and Raphael Albuquerque, the artist, are going to take a six yes, month that's break. Yes, his name, Raphael Albuquerque. Yes. It's a nice town. Yes. It's a hell of a town. <laughs> they're going to take a six month break, and they're going to come back to the book. Left turn there once. While they're gone, they're going to be there'll be a couple maybe one shots in American Vampire specials, and they'll be doing a DCU project during that time off, and then the second half of the run of American Vampire will begin. Sure, all over it will. Again. No, 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 it's a hit. It's a no, hit. it will. It will. Except it'll be called. DC New 52. <laughs> no. And not Vertigo. You mean kind of like what's happening to John Constantine? Yes. Yes. 200 yes. Yes. He's moving yes. up. Yes. 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 Exactly. Now, what will happen when they come back after the hiatus is that the book will move ahead to take place in the mid 60s. So. Great. Okay. And if you pick up issue 34, man. there'll be a whole bunch of clues and hints of what the second half of the run is going to be like. Okay. Next up, uh, if you've enjoyed J. Michael Straczynski's run on Before Watchmen, stop enjoying it. <laughs> He's done with it. <laughs> the I'm folks in DC. Well this, well, this is actually his opinion. He, he thinks Dan Dio said that the point was to come back, revisit the concept. It's not my opinion. It's not my opinion. You got Dan, the, that's a story. I, is your name Dan Dio? You pointed at me and said that's is his opinion. Is your name Dan Dio? You pointed at me and said that's his opinion. Well, I'm not talking about you. Well, your opinion. You don't. You don't I read the books. Hi, kids. Dan Dio here. And as far as I'm concerned, we're not doing any more Dan Watchmen. Right. I hate you. <laughs> so, once this once this run of limited series is over with, yes, they're done. They're not coming back to the project. Now, Straczynski right now is working on the third volume. That's right, the third volume of Superman Earth 1. Okay. You didn't like the first two? They were. He hasn't read them yet. <laughs> you gave it to him for yet. Christmas yeah. last okay. year. Okay. 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 You didn't like it? What the hell's wrong? Moving on. Demon Knights, number 14. The Shining Knight, of course, is in Demon Knights. And in issue number 14... We find out that she's both a male and a female. Wow. And, and you know what that's called? She's a hermaphrodite. There you go. Although, if you ask Paul Carnell, he goes, well, it's whatever you think I meant by saying she's both male and female at the same time. Okay. So, but yes, so if you haven't picked up that issue, you better start looking for it. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, Jeff Lemire... Uh, is is doing what on Justice League Dark? Well, he's writing Justice League Dark. Uh, well, Dark. right now he is, but what's right. he going to do with it? Well, he's gonna he's getting a co-writer, uh, yeah. Ray Fox, a friend of his, because Lemire, like uh, Mr. Snyder, Snyder, are getting a whole bunch of other DC work to do, and so Lemire is going to have a co-writer, and then he's going to take over the writing duties on Green Arrow. And if you see the cover for the first issue, it looks a lot like a TV show. Doesn't no it? kidding. It's amazing. Really? Yes. No, I wonder why. 
Uh, I, I, could, I have no clue. Finally, what are you doing on Valentine's Day? Oh, uh, I'm got, drinking like a fish. We got something special planned <laughs> for you on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I mean chocolate. Porn. <laughs> fish, chocolate, porn, and burgers. Wow. Loaded with cheese. Fish, chocolate, Why don't porn, you just and burgers. Do this story? That's quite the laundry list. DC, well, DC and their never-ending uh, saga of continuing to use old copyrights on Valentine's Day. Oh, they are not the only ones. I just okay. said they. They, yes. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, this isn't, Marvel this does isn't, that, too. This isn't a harsh comment on what they're doing. Oh, sure. Okay. Don't be so Marvel sure, insensitive. Well, we heard it. We heard the vitriol. Anyway, <laughs> Young Romance, a new DC 52 Valentine's, Valentine's Day special, number one. That's right, number one. Number one and only. Well, no, they can do another with the following. Well, year. they could, but it keep, well, it keeps following the year maybe. It keeps the copyright. Well, the heartthrobs they can do right, the right, following right, right. year because they have to do that copyright on that one. But it'll be a sixty-four page <laughs> anthology title using the DCU New Fifty Two characters and romantic adventures. And it'll have stories from Andy Diggle, Anne Nascenti, Peter Milligan, Phil Jimenez, and Gene Ha. And it will sell like a rock. Well, it's 64 pages. You're probably like five ninety nine or six ninety nine. So oh, that alone, it will really sell like a rock. That alone will probably scare people off from getting it. And then, then a year and they'll go, hey, did you ever get that Valentine's Day thing? Because it was something really interesting in there that they're doing in the comics right now. And you go, no, they're all gone. Sorry, stupid. Marvel did a bunch of romance stuff a couple of years ago, which did Didn't not sell. sell at they're going to see what they got planned for Groundhog's Day. Oh, Groundhog's Day is, is involves a, a beaver with a shotgun. They'd have more luck with Groundhog's Day. So and that's it. That's it. That's it. We're done with Fisher out here. We got no more DC news. Go to Star's website. Check out all this man's DC news. Where's the Star's website at? Sarah knows all this information, so why do you continue to ask me that question? Who the hell's Sarah? Your thrall, for Christ's sake! Does the word oblivious mean anything to you? www.myalternatereality.com. So stop off the Star's website. Check out all his news. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. This is Bo. He has no memory whatsoever. Saying. Hasta the Vegas. What am I saying? Bye! The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.